What is up fellow investors? Capital Gains here. We will be getting into the dividend investments that I made in September. We'll start off with the first dividend payment that I made in September, which was from Wales Fargo, which because I owned 5.156474 shares, it gave me a dividend payment of $1.03, which was automatically reinvested for 0 0.023597 shares at the average price of 43.65. I then received a payment from Pfizer for owning 10.527149 shares. I got a dividend payment of $4.11, which was reinvested for 0 0.088234 shares at the average price of $46.58. Microsoft is next for owning 1.012403 shares. I got a dividend payment of 57 cents, which was reinvested for 0 0.001908 shares at the average price of $298.74. Exxon Mobil for owning 10.928957 shares gave me a dividend payment of $9.51 which was reinvested for 0.173287 shares at the average price of $54.88. This is one of my highest paying dividend earners in my portfolio. Realty Income is next with 5.281001 shares. It paid me $1.24 which was reinvested for 0 0.018106 for the average price of $68.49. Beatrice is next for owning 1.007244 shares. It paid me $0.11, cents, which was reinvested for 0 0.008101 shares at the average price of $13.58. And this is one of the stocks that I got for free for owning Pfizer. So all this is pretty much just free money. Waste management is next for one share. I received a dividend payment of 58 cents, which was reinvested for 0 0.003841 shares at the average price of $151. Shell, for having 5.200897 shares, gave me a dividend payment of $2.12, which was reinvested for 0 0.05122 shares at the average price of $41.39. Bank of America, for owning 7.214328 shares gave me a dollar and 52 cents which was reinvested for 0 0.035594 shares at the average price of $42.70 and the last payment that I received in September is from Vanguard US REIT fund for owning 5.233012 shares of VNQ I received $3.44, which was reinvested for 0 0.033103 shares at the average price of $103.92. And now, to make sure that we keep track of this, so we can see what our total is for the quarter and the year, we will now put it into our tracking sheet. And the first one was Wells Fargo, which was $1.03. Pfizer was $4.11. Microsoft was 57. ExxonMobil was nine dollars and fifty-one cents. Realty income was 124. Beatrice was 11. And we got waste management, which was 58 cents. Shell was two dollars and twelve cents. Vanguard was 344. Brings our total for this month to twenty-two dollars and seventy-one cents. And the total for all three quarters are two hundred and five dollars and sixty nine cents and we just entered the last quarter of the year and seeing how we're at two hundred and five dollars and sixty nine cents we are almost over how much dividends we made last year and i expect to be over that within this month maybe if not this month definitely next month but it really shows how the dividends are slowly stacking up and making more money than they did the year before. And we can see in this chart that my highest paying dividend is ExxonMobil, which has almost made $30 this year by itself. If you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. If anything has confused you, just leave a comment and I will either explain it in the comment or make a video about it separate. If you would like to start your own portfolio, I'll have a link in the description below to Robinhood. Just click that, sign up using my link and when you when you link your bank account you'll get a free stock if you'd like a more passive way to go about it I'll have a link for acorns where you just set it up by uh, connecting your 
bank account to it and then it'll round up any purchases to the nearest dollar and then invest the cents from that into a portfolio that you pick. I also have a Redbubble store with a capital gains logo and some other artwork there. If you are interested, you can go and ch take a look at that. But until next time, keep saving, investing, and I will see all of you guys later.